parents are doing enough to discipline their kids? Is what you see from kids in public appropriate? You're asking me? I, hey, <laughs> no, I'm not, actually. This is a whole different, I mean, whole what different we world. used to do and what my dad used to do, mm. we did try that today. Oh. Not a thing. All right, so we invited uh, the fab mom, Jill Simonian, to, here this morning to talk about uh, this because, ser seriously, the generational thing is a big issue when it comes to discipline. It is, Hi. but Hi, here's the deal. Full disclosure, I was born in the wrong generation. <laughs> yeah. I'm convinced because I am actually treating my kids in the same way that I was raised. And I'm not doing this, honey, darling. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I love them. I cuddle, you know, all that. Sure. but there are rules at my house. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, so let's talk I, about I think that, yeah. that you are not alone. I think that it's the silent majority out there. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. There you, because I feel like I like I know my brother and my sister-in-law, they treat their children the, the way you're talking. They're mm -hmm. like, no, this is my house. Right. These are my rules. So how did we get so far away from that? That is the biggest mystery to me. I can't explain it. I, you know, I'm on my website. I am fully aware that I am not a psychologist. I am not a therapist. I am a mom doing my best with my common sense and rationale according to how I was raised. This day and age, we are very, I think collectively as parents, we want to raise kind kids. The big buzzword is raise kind kids, raise kind kids. But somewhere, and I can only speak to, you know, some of the parents in my own community, we're trying to raise kind kids, but that line is being blurred where we're scared to draw any rules. Oh, we're scared to say no. We're scared to say, we can't do that because of X, Y, Z, because we want kids to like us and we want them to feel loved. And feeling loved is giving discipline when it's called for, in my yeah. opinion. But right. Newsflash, kids need rules. Yes. They need guidelines. They need to be told what to do. Okay, so. My dad was a bit rough with me. Okay, okay, so I'm from the generation I was raised in the 50s. My dad used the belt on me, mm -hmm. and he whacked me when I was bad. And he and, it, and he would scold me, and I would sit in the corner, and he would punish me. And my mom was the sweetest little lady ever. She never did any of that. Mm -hmm. But he was he was the heavy in the in the relationship, right? Now today we have a lot of families that, that don't have fathers or, or you know that are not there, and so there's a lot of single single parenting. And I think what's happened is that you find that. Because of that situation, parents now say, oh, I can't really enforce that kind of, I can't put that kind of burden on my child. It's true. It's true. And the whole guilt thing, mm -hmm. I think especially with, you raise a good point, with the working parents, if both parents are, you know, I'm mostly stay-at-home mom, so it's like I'm with my kids all the time. I love them. They know I love them. We have this thing. We love yeah, each other. Right. But when it's, real, you know, I'm the disciplinarian. But a lot of parents who are both working, where the mom's working all day, the dad's working all day, it's like they come home and they don't want to be the disciplinarian because they just want to be with the kids. And they feel bad. Exactly. So how do you get past the guilt? Because I think a lot of families <laughs> deal with that. How do you get turn it off? No, listen, how do you get past the guilt, but also have the discipline? How do you do both? You just have to say, that's the rule. This, you have to is say, is. this is what I am committed to in order to raise kids that are respectful at home, in public, with all age groups. Mm -hmm. You have to be, I, I am only speaking for myself, I have to commit to it every single day. It's not easy. It's I mean, not, let's not easy. Let's not no, no, sugarcoat no. this like it it's easy. Is, no, it is so hard. And I will be, in fact, I chaperone my daughter's, I wrote about it on my website, I chaperone my daughter's uh, field trip. Uh -huh. And we went to the California Science Center, and that place is huge. And there's like a million second graders from our school. And everyone's going crazy and running and running and running and running. And I was literally the only parent that looked at my five second graders and said, listen up. Yeah. If any of you run away from me, you will get lost here and you may not make it back to school. <laughs> and I and they looked at me like this and then so I got I got so I kind of mean and then I said, but we're gonna have a great time. High five, high five, high five. And guess the, they behaved. Yeah, I had yeah. to remind them, hey, remember what we said? You Don't have to get keep lost. reminding them, yes. Keep reminding them, but they were the only kids that weren't like running into elderly people in the halls. I'm interested in what the other parents thought of that. I comment. think they thought I was re older. mean, yeah. witch, crazy, rude. I really think they did. You know, the thing that the truth is that no matter how much discipline you impose on your children, your children will still love you. And as they get older, they will understand that those rules were there for them and that they love they, they need those guidelines. If without guidelines, they will just go nuts and do whatever they yeah, want. Was, and then you're raising yeah. crazy kids crazy. who become crazy teenagers <laughs> who and, and crazy adults. insane adults. <laughs> right. I mean, I would say like kids just they just need structure. 
You always need structure. Yeah. And if you let them run amok or you negotiate with them. That's another thing. There's oh. a, the big dialogue now, especially with you know a lot of credible parenting experts who mm -hmm. really are experts in their field, psychology and whatnot. You know, they always hammer home kids want to be heard, which, yes, absolutely. I will sit and listen to my kids. Okay, tell me what you think. And then my answer is no. The answer is no. Because I said, <laughs> because but, I said so. But that is a big thing yeah. where parents are, you know, we're, we're trying to listen to our kids, but we're losing the authority that we have to have in order to raise productive good people, I think. All right, Jill, go to your room. You're done. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I am now imposing I'm structure trouble. on you. We are done. Dad says you're because done. Because I said I love so. you, and I still love you guys. <laughs> All right, Jill, thank you Point for well being taken. here. <laughs> right. We'll be right back. Thanks.